What can you as an individual do right now to express your support for citizen diplomacy? I think it's very important that this conference goal is to renew the citizen diplomacy movement and bring it into the 21st century. We have the ability to come together side by side using cultural and scientific exchanges, global action groups, educational forums, and even athletic events to build bridges between nations to increase tolerance and understanding between religions, races, and ideological perspectives. The difference between passive listening and active participation is the difference between looking through a keyhole at life beyond and opening the door wide to walk outside for the whole view. Over 60% of the world's population is under the age of 30. Not only are these young people the future leaders of their countries, but they have the power today, right now, to influence their families and their communities and to impact the way large segments of the world's population thinks about the United States. For me, the essence of this summit is that each of us has the potential to be a powerful force in the world. When our drive is channeled, our efforts focused, and our actions coordinated, we accomplish goals that are bigger than ourselves. I think there is a great deal of thirst for citizen involvement. Part of our corporate citizenship, our responsibility, is to think through and have uh, strategies that those great achievements uh, can reach the rest of the world. And know that, you know, 50 years, that, that call to service is still being um, answered by, you know, uh, Americans of all ilks, of all ages right now, who are working part and parcel with countries all over the world. It is citizen diplomacy efforts that are gonna help heal our problems. More broadly, the sustainability and growth of educational exchange will depend in this globalized world on the ability of people and ideas to move freely across borders. There is, uh, I think, a very warranted enthusiasm for what technology can do and, and what new media can do to improve the ways that, that citizen diplomacy happens. The core tenets of uh, CSR, corporate social responsibility, are really uh, complementary to both our diplomatic and our diplomacy efforts. Citizen diplomacy is essential for national security. It's not removed from it. It's not apart uh, from what is done on the battlefield now. It is an essential part of it. We take who we are, the soul of America, our arts, the dance. We take who we are there, and then people want to come here. It's like the next natural thing, and we exchange constantly. Involvement of government in the citizen uh, uh, activities can be different from country to country. Uh, citizen diplomacy begins at home. And if the United States is going to reach the goal of this summit, doubling the number of citizen diplomats in 10 years, the right partnerships are required. So when we engage in discussions on religion with citizens of other nations, with different cultures, different religions, in a complex political and societal settings, we not only have to set our foot outside of our comfort zone, but we have to cross it. To be a global citizen, to be a citizen diplomat, share your stories, listen to the stories of others. This is the dialogue that will help us erase the borders that separate us. When people connect with people, um, there's, a, there's a value there that surpasses the national differences, the geographic differences, the, the shared humanity that, that comes through. It really outshines any of those political differences. I'm, I'm proud to say that I've done this, but still I feel like there's an incredible need in Afghanistan and I think people need to look at going there helping the people getting on the ground and doing some service, whatever they can do. Robert Redford founded the Sundance Institute on the belief that art, and in particular film, has a unique power to nurture understanding between diverse cultures and people, and to foster tolerance in an often intolerant world.